안녕하세요. 제노은 남입니다. Hi, I literally just woke up. But it's okay, you know, like this is how I be, you know. And we're all family here. And if not, uh, you know, for those of you who, are, this is my, your first impression of me. Um, welcome! I still have my calamine, cam calamine lotion. Yeah, that's called calamine lotion. On my face for my irritations and my lip is bleeding because it's dry. My hair, okay, let's talk about my hair. My hair is like so dry right now, look at it. Because the last time I washed it, I think like two days ago, I used head and shoulders mixed with baking powder to try and lighten it. And it did lighten my hair quite a bit, as you can see. Um, my hair has faded to like a kind of muted hot pink. Oh my gosh, it's so cute like this. Ah. It actually looks so cute like this, like textured and wavy. Oh my gosh, I actually love it right now. <laughs> Should I just not do anything to it right now? Go to school like this? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. If you feel this, it feels like I literally just bleached it. It only feels like this after I bleach it. It's so dry. And after I shampoo and conditioned, I didn't put on my leave-in silk therapy because I was planning to try using a color remover and it says that you have to have clean, dry hair. And so I didn't put in my leave-in treatment. But usually I do put in my leave-in treatment and it doesn't leave my hair like feeling like a broom. And I can't even comb it. Like if I try to comb it, look, it just it just gets stuck here because everything is dry and tangled. So I'm gonna throw some Olaplex in, leave it on for like an hour or something, and then I'll just show you what I usually do for when my hair becomes like this after I bleach or after I do like a drying wash like this. I usually first take my comb. This one's has hair. <laughs> this one's um just a bamboo brush I think and I literally you've seen me do this a lot I literally just brush through from my ends upwards instead of starting from the top and ripping through my tangles I kind of just start from the bottom because we all gotta stop from the bottom you see the difference between brushed and unbrushed okay like remember to brush your hair especially when it's dry you want to brush your hair when it's wet don't use a brush use a comb that way you'll prevent breakage and stuff i'm also filming with my gopro i really don't know what it looks like right now because gopro doesn't have a viewfinder because michael just kidding <laughs> my hubs took uh my normal camera for vlogging <laughs> i have to use a gopro just kidding gopro is also good i just don't know what it looks like I really didn't lose that much hair, but I don't know if you can see. Can you see? <laughs> it's not really breakage, but it's just like hair that has snapped from being too brittle. So Olaplex will help rebond the rest of my hair and help it not be so brittle anymore after that intense shampoo. I literally just slather this on my head. I'll tie it up and then I'll wait and then I'll wash it out. It's really simple. I just do it like a regular hair mask. And for those asking where I got this, I just bought it off Amazon. I literally just bought it off Amazon. People are like, don't you need a license to use Olaplex? I just bought it off Amazon. It was quite pricey though, I will have to say. I think this thing was like $120, but I will have to say after about a year and a half of using Olaplex, it has changed my life. It really, like they are not paying me to say this because they're already rich, they don't need to pay me. And their product is already like, it already speaks for itself. So my bleaching experience and my hair color journey would really have been in shambles if it wasn't for Olaplex. It's a lot cheaper to get the big version rather than the small version. They do sell a number three, which is a little bit more diluted than this. And it's only 30 to 60 milliliters. But this thing comes with 200, no, sorry, not 200, 2000 milliliters of product. If you really, really want to repair your hair and you really care about your hair, buying Olaplex and doing it yourself and not going to the salon and getting an Olaplex treatment, because that's like for one time, they cost like 60 to $80 for one treatment. And you can pay for that in like $30 to like $2 if you get this big one. The amount of product that you use will only cost you $2 for one time. So honestly, I highly recommend investing. However, everyone's at different price points and different budgets for their hair. I think Olaplex is like the most expensive thing that I've purchased for my hair. And it's honestly something I don't regret. They say you can leave Olaplex in your hair anywhere between five minutes to like several hours at a time. I normally like to leave this in for 30 minutes to an hour. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I eat breakfast and get ready for the day. Oh okay. good. Create a cherry on top. Oh, my hands feel so silky now. I'll be right back. <gasps> so soft. I'm not gonna shampoo my hair. I'm just gonna rinse it and I'll be right back when it's dry. My silk therapy silk treatment. By the way, I didn't shampoo or condition my hair either, but I am putting my silk treatment. Do you see how butter smooth this comb is just combing through my hair now? Another thing that really helped my hair recover over the last a year and a half is actually drying my hair. You would think that staying away from heat and blow dry is safer, but if you dry with cool air, right now I'm drying with hot air because I want my hair to dry faster, but, and I'm not as worried with damage now, but if you dry with cool air, it actually helps your hair recover a lot faster because it lays down your hair cuticles on your hair shaft. Hi. Sticker. Job. Because your hair does get weaker when your hair is wet and so the longer you keep your hair wet The more prone it is to breakage and damage. So it's better to dry your hair as soon as possible Mommy, right after you do wash your hair Oh the ball Look, I have water, shock. water inside? Yep. Shake it no, I'll spill the ground. And then put it in the bathroom. So it'll actually help prevent a lot of damage if you dry your hair right away. I feel like it still looks a bit frizzy and like damaged, but it's looking a lot better than it did before. It definitely feels a lot better. And I find that I have to do this like consecutively to get my hair to the state that I want it to. Maybe like every week or two times a week before I could get it back to a normal state after bleaching or after like a, such a dry wash or like a drying shampoo that I did before. So that's normally what I do for using Olaplex as a mask. And that's what I have been doing for like a year and a half. So you can definitely check out the links below to to all of the products that I found helpful for me and my hair recovery. And if you like this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop. And I'll see you next time.